Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for organizing this event. It's actually been a ton of fun to hear everyone's uh, stories about their relationship to the arts. Um, as you heard, I'm a candidate for city council position number four, um, especially for this group. I want to address the uh, elephant in the room, which I'm sure everyone is uh, I'm wondering about right now, which is the origins of my name. Where, uh, uh, where did Mengis come from? Um, and I was named after Charles Mengis, the jazz musician. Um, and uh, something a lot of you probably guessed that a lot of you probably don't know that I named uh, both of my children after musicians. I have one kid with the first name Coltrane and the second kid with the middle name Dizzy. Um, and that should now probably answer the second question that I'm sure most of you have, which are, is, you know, is music important to me? Yes, uh, uh, music is enormously important to me. It's literally part of my identity and part of the legacy that I've handed down to my kids and part of what I hope to bring and celebrate when I am on city council. Um, let me take a minute to introduce myself. Uh, as you heard already, uh, um, I'm a dad. I got two kids in elementary school. I'm also a Portlander with deep roots in our city. Um, I did my undergraduate work at Reed College and then went on to get a PhD in government from Cornell University. I've split my career between being an academic and being a public servant here in Portland. Uh, let me talk a little bit about my academic work. I'm a political scientist by training. My research and teaching focuses in on issues around urban politics and public policy, especially urban politics and inequality. And I also have a deep uh, um, career working at local government here in Portland. So I have helped manage the city's neighborhood association system. I've helped manage the city's crime prevention uh, uh, um, program. Uh, back when Bev Stein was uh, Multnomah County Chair, I worked in her office and I have also worked uh, for Portland Public Schools in their intergovernmental relations office. All of those experiences taught me a lot about uh, um, how local government in Portland works and taught me a little bit about why local government in Portland doesn't work as well as it could. Um, and it's also taught me something about the arts. Um, I have a long history of bringing and promoting arts to Portland. I used to be executive director for Historic Park Rose, which is a nonprofit group dedicated to promoting equitable economic development east of 82nd. One of my strategies for promoting development um, in East Portland was to celebrate and bring arts to that community. That's why I helped um, organize and turn our little street fair, Taste of Park Rose, into a major community celebration, which attracts thousands of people a year and uh, uh, um, generates tens of thousands of dollars in revenue for uh, the Park Rose neighborhood. Um, and I've also served on the uh, board of directors for the Jim Pepper Native Arts Festival. Uh, um, those folks help, uh, help organize a music festival featuring Native American musicians every year. I think it's really important and really neat because Jim Pepper, who's a famous jazz musician in his own right, used to live in Park Rose. A lot of people don't realize that, but that's a real important piece of uh, Portland history that means a lot to me and I kind of want to celebrate. Um, I also want to tell you the arts play an important role in my own life. As I mentioned, I named my, both of my kids for after musicians, and part of that is to literally give them a curriculum in the arts ed in arts education. Uh, um, you know, I want them to listen to Coltrane and, and, and Dizzy Gillespie through their whole life, um, and that will pay them back. Um, I also send my kids to Buckman Elementary School because Buckman is an arts magnet program, and I did that because I want my little kids to have a training in uh, music and dance and the performing arts, and that's been a wonderful experience for us. Um, and yes, like a lot of my colleagues, um, I play an instrument too. Um, I, um, I play alto sax, I picked it up in middle school, played it uh, regularly through high school. I was never very good, but I still have the alto sax um, in the closet. We break it out every once in a while and play with the kids, um, and that's a great experience too. Um, I I'm a regular consumer of live music. You heard before that I had my kids in uh, arts uh, um, in an arts magnet school, so I go to a lot of school art uh, school performances, which are really special. Um, I also um, I like to go to like uh, uh, music. Uh, I've been using my own neighborhood. I'm sort of an aficionado of old band bands, so on. Um, 
On Sunday afternoons like this, you might find me at the Laurel Thirst, uh, uh, listening to some local bands over uh, lunch. And uh, some evenings you can find me at the Blue Diamond, uh, 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 listening to uh, some of our local musicians there. Um, I live just a couple of blocks away from Revolution Hall, so whenever there's a, a music event there that I can afford and get a babysitter for, I'll be there. And at least once a month, I try to buy tickets to um, a performing, a live performing arts event both so I can support the performing arts and also so I can kind of nurture my own soul. I'm a single dad and I don't get to get out very often, but I think it's important just for me to be a complete human being to actually go out uh, um, and consume arts. Now, arts matter to me for a bunch of different reasons. Uh, um, one is it promotes our economy and two, uh, um, it, it promotes our culture. I have a lot more to say, but I see I've already gone over my five minutes, so I'm going to shut it down now. Thank you. Thank you, Mingus. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Portland's private sector is confirmed as relying heavily on our local music scene to attract and retain talent. And for that reason, a significant influence on decisions to locate businesses in Portland. How would you engage local businesses to invest in local music that directly benefits them? As city commissioner, what role would you be willing to play to make that happen? Oh gosh, I totally get this question. You know, uh, uh, the arts and music in particular is a huge economic draw for our state. Literally more than $300 million in uh, economic uh, um, activities generated by arts and the music. Um, tens of millions of dollars in tax dollars are generated by the arts and uh, more than 10,000 jobs come from the arts. Um, I think it's really important that uh, government play a role in promoting this. This is, you know, as I think I mentioned before, I think part of Portland's secret sauce is our livability, our quality of life. People come here both to make and do incredible things, but also to literally celebrate the quality of life. We need to sustain that. I will be an advocate for that. That's why I really believe in strong neighborhoods. Uh, one of the other things I want to do is to make sure that every neighborhood has a voice in City Hall. So I want to elect members of City Council by uh, um, neighborhood-based electoral districts. That way, the unique cultural needs of every corner of our city can be represented uh, um, in policymaking that comes out of City Hall. All right. Thank you.